When I was growing up, I was always surrounded by music. My dad and uncle both being in a band helped make me as passionate about music as I am today. I recently sat my father down and spoke with him about the early days. I wanted to know his story and how he got started. This is the tale of a bassist turned father. I'm Rich Pelletier and I used to play bass for a band called Hellhound and a band called Rapid Fire. very serious about it. I used to play literally 12 hours a day. My fingers bled. I had a kid, so wasn't playing the bass very much. Don't quit for long periods of time like I did. Don't stop playing. At which point did I decide to start playing music? Well, my brother started first. He started on piano and I didn't really find that terribly exciting. But then he started playing drums. My parents bought him a drum set and uh, that kind of got me going. I was really getting into um, hard rock and heavy metal and was thinking about playing guitar and that kind of jump started me into it. Eventually my brother and I started jamming together um, with some other guys from school and we finally actually formed a band which was to become our first band, Hellhound, but we couldn't find a bass player. So even though I was planning on becoming some awesome lead guitarist guy, I decided to take one for the team and start playing bass. So that was 1983. I began playing bass and I became the bass player for Hellhound. Hello, you're watching Rock Talk. I'm Chris Lynn. Tonight we have with us the Hellhound. How are you doing, guys? Oh, pretty good. All right. All right. Good. Okay. How did you ever come up with the name anyways? I said it right, right? No. <laughs> Just Hellhound? Yeah. Okay. How did you come up with the name? Um, I came up with it when I was in school back when I was like a junior in high school or something like that and uh, I was totally into Greek mythology and uh, it sounded like it would be a cool name for a band. It was like there were all these you know mythical creatures and stuff and one of them was the Hellhound and uh, I just asked them if it was okay or my brother and he said all right so. <laughs> Couldn't think of anything better. So. Yeah. After we broke up I had a kid so wasn't playing the bass very much and then in uh, 1991, I started playing with my brother again, and that led to us forming a band called Rapid Fire, which was probably the, uh, the best thing that I did, probably the pinnacle of my experience. My musical influences early on were, for bass playing, were Black Sabbath and Iron Maiden. Steve Harris of Iron Maiden was the guy that really got me focused on the bass, even while I was playing guitar. I found myself listening to his bass playing more than I was listening to any of the other instruments. This is my rig. It's an Ampeg SVT Pro, uh, rack mount amp. Uh, about 450 watts. This is a two 10 inch speaker cabinet and that is a one 15 inch speaker cabinet. Well, I have a couple of pedals at the moment. I have a uh, bass chorus pedal which uh, for playing clean. The other one is a uh, bass driver. It's basically a distortion pedal. Hold on a sound line. So this is my Music Man Stingray. It's handmade in Corona, California. 
uh, here in the U.S. of A. And uh, it's a really nice instrument. This is my American Fender P bass. Uh, it's tricked out. It's got a custom bridge and custom pickups. These are uh, the same pickups that Steve Harris of Iron Maiden uses. Uh, other than that, it's totally stock. Um, this is handmade in Fullerton, California at the Fender factory. The best show we ever played was supporting Slayer on New Year's Eve 1984. Slayer's gear got left in New York City, which was the city they played in prior to Berkeley, which is where the show took place. So my brother volunteered his drum set. Um, our guitar players volunteered their amps. And because they were going to be using our gear, we had to go on immediately before them. So we were originally going to open the show. And this was, I believe, a four or five band show. So we got bumped up to main support, which I'm sure pissed off the other bands and had been, along, been around longer than us and were possibly better than we were. But we weren't going to complain. It was great. And we were actually on stage at midnight. So we got to leave everyone and we countdown and uh, yeah it was it was a great night it was a great experience uh, do I have a message for aspiring bass players don't quit for long periods of time like I did stick with it don't give up so my father might not be a rock star but I still look up to him his talent and passion is recognizable even by non-musicians such as myself I can't wait to see what the future holds for him but no matter what happens he'll still just be dad this is something I wrote back in 1986.